What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to Vindictus. This game is pretty damn sweet. I have been playing it for the past couple of days and it's 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 a very different game and I have been trying to think of how do I really want to express my opinion? How do I really feel about Vindictus overall? And it's tough to say because I mean, at this point I can really only give you my sort of, uh, how can I say, I can only give you my uh, initial impressions, I suppose, within how many levels am I now? I'm level 12 now, and yeah, it's taken me a couple of days to uh, to get those levels. I've been looking at a lot of people's gear, and one of the, I, I will start by saying, one of the most impressive things about, whoops, I don't want to, the marketplace, or pigs, um, <laughs> one of the most impressive things about Vindictus is the amount of gear and like the graphics and the detail in uh in in what people can wear and stuff like that just really really awesome looking stuff you will probably like me um get gear envy very early on and that's that's good because it's like it's like a, a motivation in a way to to play the game when you see somebody wearing something really really cool you know and they're a similar character as yours so for example uh i'm playing vela who is a uh, a twin sword uh user and so when i see other velas like this one maybe perhaps um you know i kind of check out their gear and stuff like that and i go oh maybe that's a that's something that i want to get or, or maybe that's something I, that i will get and it's something cool to look forward to this guy looks awesome what, what's his name monster 23 i think karak is is his his character or whatever who has like this ridiculous weapon, um, but doesn't seem to be wearing it right now. Um, what is that on his arm? I don't know. And that's part of the fun of this game also right now. It's just like there's so many interesting things that I don't really understand, but it, it really looks awesome. It really, really does. Um, visually, this game is very, very pleasing to the eye. Um, and the way the gameplay works is really nice as well. B basically... Sort of the way that I, I kind of understand um, Vindictus <laughs> is that you, you, as you can see, I'm running around this town and stuff like that. And back there in the other areas, there were lots of shops and stuff like that. In a way, this game reminds me a lot of Monster Hunter, how you kind of start from a town like this. And from here, you will, you know, get quests and you can do shopping and crafting and all kinds of various things. And then you will go out. And, uh, and, like, and, like, and perform some kind of task or whatever. It may be, you know, to go look for something, to go uh, kill something or whatever. So it's sort of, it, it's similar to, to in that sense is, is what I mean by Monster Hunter. Right, what you're looking at right now is, a, uh, is the party and battle windows. So I come here to the docks and I'm going to create a, a party or join a party. I could either do friends or I could do revenge. Let's do friends first because this is, this is something that I need to do. Um, it should be very easy also, and it even says right there, easy. One of the my favorite things about Vindictus is all of the the interaction that your character has av <laughs> available to ev almost everything around them. All types of objects and stuff like that. So for example, these, these pumpkins, I can pick them up, right? And I could actually like use them if I wanted to as weapons, or I could just like straight up and throw them which it exploded in the process um okay here's a here's a dice for example i can pick this up and i can throw it across the room look at that and it broke the pumpkin did you see that there's so much awesome like uh interaction and uh yeah, like breakable objects and stuff like that in this game it really amazes me this is the type of thing that i think we're going to see a lot more of coming in the um in the next generation of console games like on the P PlayStation 4, Xbox One and, and stuff like that. We're going to see a lot more of this type of stuff where characters are able to manipulate objects and throw things around like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not just limited to... I can't pick up that dice for some reason. I'm not just limited to uh, throwing things around the boat. I can even just like, throw things over there in the water. Check that out. <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, that's one of the awesome things um, about Vindictus that, like, it's it's so pleasurable to me. Like, being able to kick that and make a duck sound. Come on, that's awesome, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
That's so cool. And this fish, I can't seem to cut this fish. That is one strong skinned fish, that is for sure. But anyway, that's that's the type of thing that really like gets me pumped like in a game is is that level of immersion and interaction with things. It's really cool. So you'll see a lot more of that uh, in this video and uh, and more videos, I guess, if uh, if I continue to make these for a while. So anyway, once all preparations are made, we'll go ahead and we'll say start. Cheers. Hmm. Ah. Vindictus brought to you by Wider Energy Jelly. <laughs> That's a joke. If you guys watched the the previous video, you know what I'm talking about. The uh, the the most recent uh, Demon Souls video. Anyway. I'm playing with keyboard and mouse, by the way. You, I think I mentioned in the um, uh, the first video that you can change to like gamepad and stuff like that. I actually really like the way keyboard and mouse feels. It it feels very very smooth, very good actually. Ah, right, here we go. We got some spiders, and they die fast. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is that. Uh, in battling like monsters and stuff like that in this game so far, all of this stuff that you fight, for the most part, uh, going through an area is very, very. Well, it's easy. Let's just let's say that, or maybe it's just easy right now. I'm not sure, but uh, eventually, like towards the end, there will be um, an interesting battle, usually with some kind of uh, like end of the level boss. I think it's dead, <laughs> but uh, yeah. And you can see like all the stuff that I'm breaking and, and like shit flying around. Come on, come on, come on! And yeah, it's just it's it's really really awesome. Uh, what what can we do? Let's pick something up and throw it at the spider. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I can grab people too, and kick the shit out of them. Oh yeah, it's so good. It's so good. This is kind of interesting too, like sometimes you have the option to uh, finish uh, enemies. <laughs> Usually it, it ends with a kick like that, and then you can uh, sort of uh, extract an item from whatever that is rolling away. Interesting, we got some really intense music oh, uh, from these guys. Yeah? Yeah? Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. I'm going to be fighting a few waves of enemies. That's why. All right, bring it on, fellas. Ooh, yeah. I don't know why I just kicked. Come on. Oh. Oh, so good. I love. Oh, oh. I'm running out of uh, energy or stamina or whatever that is. It's so awesome, man. I love picking dudes up like that or catching them in midair and then tr just slamming. Look, at I can even pick him up from the ground and back break him like sick. Oh, my God. That is so much fun. More guys. Okay. Yes, I can understand why now the intense music. Get out of the middle. There we go. Oh, oh, running out of it. Energy. Oh, 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 oh. That's a lot of guys. I have not seen this many guys. I didn't think this. And it said, didn't it say easy? <laughs> Whew! That's one of my favorite combos. If you can't tell. 
Oh, 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 I meant to grab somebody, not try to... Let's get out of the middle. Not try to extract an object. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. More will appear in 15 seconds. Bring it on! I can do this all day. I can do this all day, man. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Come on, come on, come on. What's also cool about these, uh, these quests is... Um, they have certain sort of, like, objectives attached to them. And, um, what you can do is... You can either try to do those, uh, those objectives, extra objectives, I should say, um, the first time that you're going through or with whatever group that you're maybe doing it with. But, and if you don't manage to complete them, well, then you'll have the chance anytime you want to uh, repeat these quests. And I guess that's a big part of uh, Vindictus is sort of repeating uh, quests. Similar to, well, Monster Hunter in that sense. Like, you will go back to the same area and you will probably farm the same boss a few times or, you know, go out for resources or something like that. And that's that's the way Monster Hunter works and, and other similar games. Now, Vindictus isn't really in the same genre as that, but it does sort of share similar, um, similar gameplay in that sense. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, get out of the middle, get out of the middle, get out of the middle, get out of the middle! There we go. I don't like being in the middle like that, that makes me nervous. Especially... If I start running out of, uh, uh, energy. As you can see though, like, I am running very high graphic settings, um, I'm recording at the same time, I'm playing from Japan on a North American server, and it's not really lagging that much. I mean, it is losing a little bit of frames, like, below, like, 60 and stuff like that, but it's still, with all of these enemies and stuff like that, it's still playing very, very smoothly, I think. Oh! <laughs> it, it's playing very smoothly. Um, it, I don't know if that's a testament to um, the way that this game was made, or if that's a testament maybe to uh, my system, or maybe a little bit of both. I don't know. Um, but this game runs surprisingly smooth, I think. You're next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 55 gnolls defeated. So wait, how much longer does this go on for? It's my first time doing this uh, this quest. So I have no idea. Like, oh yeah, look at that breaking pillars and shit. I love Villa. I love the way that she moves. Her fighting style. And, it just, and just everything about Villa is so much just win. Um, uh, there's a, a lot of other... Ow. There's a lot of other uh, characters that you can choose from, as you saw from uh, the first video that I made. And they all look really, really fun. I've tried almost all of them, like a little bit, for like the first couple of levels. And um, they all seem to have like really, really great uh, sort of styles about them. Um, like playstyles and, and things that you can do with them. Um, I think probably if I wasn't playing Vela, or maybe when I finish Vela if I can, um, I think I would play Kai second because Kai looks really badass with the way he uses a, a bow in this game. It's unlike anything I've, I've seen in other games like with that type of uh, battle style, like a you know sort of hunter with a bow and arrow. Like he's just he's so much more action oriented and dynamic than just you know pew 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 pew. Like all the things that he can do are really really impressive. And it looks like he could just he could destroy 
groups of enemies with ease by the looks of it. Um, yeah, he just looks like a lot of fun. But as you can see, so can Villa, um, and very smoothly. Uh, this is a this is a nice test actually, like for me, because I have never faced this <laughs> kind of situation before. This is really interesting with this many uh, enemies. Let's get some more. Yeah. Oh, oh. Get out of the middle. Get out. No, get out of the middle. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What's going on? I'm losing. Oh, it's freezing up. I think I broke the game. Too much awesome. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, hang in there. Hang in there. Come on. Am I getting male AOL? Is that why? Or is it just like it's too much epicness? Even my PC can't handle it. Oh, we're losing frames badly. I have no idea why. Come on, hang it. Come on, come on. There's hardly anybody on screen now. Get it together. Okay, so it looks like we have a boss fight now and my frames are ch oh yeah my frames are chugging badly well let's just see if we can handle it maybe it'll clear up I don't know what the cause of this is right now I've never had this happen before either but then again I've never fought like crazy waves like this before either so far we're hanging in there, it's not, uh, it's not completely game-breaking, but I wish it would smooth out, especially for a boss fight. It kind of makes me nervous actually now that I'm thinking about it, uh, you know, this possibly happening in the past for me. Um, I don't know if this is the game's fault or my connection or, or what. Let's just see if we can finish it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Alright, my health seems to be hanging in there for the most part. I wonder if he's going to regenerate. Sometimes these, um, these Noel guys, uh, regenerate health, like, and so they'll have, like, more than one health bar. Wow, this is pretty ugly. Come on! Oh, he's he's sort of crippled. Let's see. Is this gonna be it? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Villa. Oh, there we go. Whoo! He's lagging so bad right now. Come on. Well, wait a minute. But we seem to be recovering. Sort of. Well, not really. Wait a minute. Oh, we did recover. Look at that. My, uh, my, fr I'm getting my frames back. So it, that was, uh, that was the boss then. Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> that was the boss that did that then. A hundred veteran nulls defeated. Awesome. So that was the lag boss, I guess. <laughs> he was sort of like, he's sort of like the connection boss. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as he came, like my connection, like totally went to shit. <laughs> it's the lag boss. Uh, oh, I got the item I needed for the uh, the quest. So then once it's all finished up, it sort of gives you like a tally of, uh, you know, your performance and stuff like that. It shows you your uh, your rating, I guess, and uh, your rewards for the whole ordeal. Whew, that was intense. <laughs> that was pretty wild, especially all that, uh, that lag. I'm curious if... Actually, really, I will do this again soon, I think, and uh, I'll do it without recording and see if it had anything to do with maybe uh, me recording as I'm as I'm trying to uh, to play this. But um, yeah, still very, very awesome. And especially the uh, the checkerboard trees <laughs> return to town.
Hmm. So, yeah. But yeah, um, visually, uh, uh, going kind of going back to that, um, looking at people's armor and weapons and, and their sort of character designs and stuff like that, I can't help but also feel like uh, I'm looking at Soul Calibur characters, like with the way that they fight and, and the way they look in their armor and, and sort of the, um, how can I say, the... Um, What's the what's the term I'm looking for? The the effects uh, you know, with the shininess on their armor and skin and stuff like that. It reminds me visually of um, of Soul Calibur. Like seriously, do doesn't it? Doesn't it? When you look at like Evie here, or, for example, doesn't she look like a Soul Calibur character? I think so. I really think so. And that's cool because I I'm a big Soul Calibur fan. I really like the game. Played the hell out of them in the arcade and bought almost every one of them on console as well. Except for the most recent one. I didn't buy the most recent um, uh, Soul Calibur. What was that? The, the bro I can't remember. Soul Calibur... Bro bro no, that was the PSP game. There was another one recently. Uh, um, I think it was last year, and I, I didn't get that. Anyway, so we're done with the quest, and what we can do now is go back and talk to the quest giver. One of the things I would say as a critique about this game is I wish I could turn that off. The mercenary outpost like banner and the the mailbox, the inn. I, I don't like another checkerboard tree. Interesting. I seem to be getting those often today. Um, I don't really like that. Like I wish there was a UI um, option that I could just like turn that off. Maybe there is. I don't know. I, I looked through the options. I didn't see one. If there is, then I'll shut up then <laughs> about it. All right, so let's go inside. As you can see, this game is like heavily instanced, where you know each sort of area is is broken apart from another, and that is kind of good and kind of bad. I mean, it gives the game maker like opportunities to do some really interesting things, like within those instances, um, including having really rich and and beautiful graphics. Um, but of course, you know, it would be nice to have like a more open world feel or something like that. All right, so here he says, uh, search through the perilous ruins just to find this you could have been doing something more productive all oh, right he's uh we're actually f supposed to secretly find the swords for this guy um, from that quest I regretted what I did with this to be honest I'm jealous of I guess Keegan jealous of Keegan he's already a captain in the Royal Army and I he shakes his head as if to clear it it's not that Keegan and I aren't friends anymore. He's just such an arrogant... I can't stand it. Ah, I can't get my thoughts in order. Here, just take the sword. I don't want it. Fergus can restore it for you. And just leave the letter on the table before you leave. Thanks for your efforts. I'll skim the letter if I have time. Just moving it out of the way, that's all. This, this game has some pretty good storytelling, I have to admit, and I, I like the way that they've approached quests and, and stories in this game. Um, it's mostly this, like, from this point. In the first video, it was like, you know, big cutscenes and lots of, you know, sort of 3D, real-time cutscenes and stuff like that. Uh, it seems like from this point on, it's it's like this, which is kind of cool. I mean, uh, it's it's something different. It's, it's a unique... Uh, compared to the way I, you know, just walking up to an NPC normally. I don't know. It's I like it. It's it's different in a good way, I think. So yeah, that's sort of where I'm at with the game, and that's sort of my impressions uh, at this time. There's something else that I'm I'm forgetting, and I can't remember what it is. I'll remember it for the next video, though. Um, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, pretty lengthy as it is, but there will be another one uh, coming up fairly soon. I hope you look forward to that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is Vindictus for the PC. This is the North American. I'm on... I know you guys are going to ask this. I'm on the East server, and if you didn't notice by now, uh, my character's name is Hot Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, click the like button, subscribe for more. My name is Kinetic, and I'll see you guys next time.